am reading my scriptures. I am, I am, I am going to the temple. I'm not looking at pornography. I'm not doing any of those things. I genuinely am curious about this Fanny Alger situation and, and why did he blah, 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 you know? Well, listen, listen, Rio, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be focusing on those things. You should be serving in the church and, and, and you should be uh, praying to Heavenly Father, reading the Book of Mormon daily, uh, participating in your calling, keeping the Spirit with you, okay? And, and worship Christ and follow Christ and Heavenly Father will take care of those things. Those won't be issues for you anymore. The reason that these are issues for you is because you're, lose, you're, you're losing grip, brother. Satan, but okay, so this is me, like, okay, okay, I, I understand you're telling me that I'm losing grip, and I'm following Satan, and I'm, I'm, I'm falling into a trap, or whatever, but can we, can, regardless, can we please talk about Fanny Alger? No, I'm not going to talk about Fanny Alger with you, because you're falling into a trap. This is a trap of Satan, so the, it's this dance. I've been through this, oh my gosh, probably hundreds of times with all sorts of church leaders and church people, and it is the most painful, grueling. The church, people are actually like mental, it's like mental torture. It's like the ultimate form of gaslighting. Like your doubts don't matter. They're not real. You're focusing on the wrong things. That's not necessary for your salvation. Um, you have hidden sins that you're not uh, rep repenting of. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. And this stuff absolutely still happens. Absolutely. Or what's even, what's even maybe potentially more painful is when they do start to talk about the issues with you, but they do the apologetic dance and they, and they say, well, you know, we don't know, Fanny Alger, we don't know that he married.